confirm on good authority that indeed uh, the payment has been made, the refund has been made. To me, the major concern of Ghanaians in all of these was possible financial loss to the state. The minister, like I said in my debate, was sincere and candid in everything he did. Information flow to us, written evidence to us, and all of that. This goes to confirm that the minister did not lie when he said at all material times he knew he was dealing with a credible entity. Mm. And this flows from, one, the letter they wrote saying that they could not supply the rest and the fact that they were willing to refund the unsupplied doses. Today, by the grace of God, the funds have fully landed in the account of government with them. People have had all the twists to this whole thing. The minister has been at the receiving end because even statements of fact that he made, for some convenient people decided to twist it. But this is public service. This is politics. But he's been firm and been consistent in everything regarding this whole situation. And today, we have the funds back. If you ask me whether or not the committee would have any further action to take, I would say no. Because in our recommendation, we stated that he should stick the, mini, the Ministry of Finance should take, should take steps to seek refund of the difference. But the Ministry of Health, rather, consistent with its earlier response to her, has been proactive in ensuring that it is done. And today, it closes the matter.